Hey guys, gonna take a couple minutes. Uh, chickens are doing better. Got them back home and let them back out. Um, and they're getting along better. They're still not perfect, but they're at least not chasing each other. Uh, somebody asked, or a few people have asked about TC right here. I never do a video about him. Uh, we've had him, TC, we've had him for about five years now. He don't bother nothing. He's a big baby. Uh, we found him at a local gas station around the holidays. I guess it's been 2007. Um, I'm thinking that somebody uh, was like in a camper. It was a big, uh, uh, like loves where people, big trucks come. And so I'm guessing people, uh, I'm thinking that they had a camper or something. He got out without them knowing it. He's been a good dog. It's right now the gates are shut because of chickens, but we'll leave the gates open and he won't go out. He's a stinker. But he's a uh, rat terrier. He's a boy. Aren't you? Yeah, I'm talking. He's like, oh no, he never done it to me before. Is he gonna get the stick out? <laughs> but that's TC, and he's part of the family, and he's a good dog. Uh, like I said, the hens are all out. And then I just had a question uh, given to me, and I'm probably gonna mess up your name, man, because uh, YouTube is messing up on me right now. The comments and everything. I think it was three five nine badger. Or five seven, it was something Badger. Uh, so if you want to find him, um, but uh, he asked, uh, he was looking at New Zealands and Californians to start for meat, and he asked which ones, what what I thought of them, and so I thought, hey, I've never uh, said if, you know, if it was I needed to get some rabbits for me after all my research, what I'd have. <laughs> There's two hens over there. And what that is, I have Red New Zealands because of future showing, and I want that side of it, the 4-H. But if I could just have five chicken, uh, five rabbits in a shed for the end of end of time, what it would be is uh, California bucks on New Zealand does. I love that cross. The reason being is the New Zealand is a bigger, bigger animal. Uh, Bigger bone, uh, not big bone, not like a Flemish giant, but just bigger. If you have them, you know what, know what I'm talking about. They're more lanky, um, like an accordion, whereas a Cali is real compact. Um, nothing, nothing really lanky about them. It's just big old one block of meat. So I have really been impressed in the past breeding Cali bucks to uh, New Zealand does. Uh, really like the the meat baby that they produce. Uh, their babies usually have the the cali look, which is nice to have a little bit of dark on the on the ears and stuff. But they have some of that biggerness of the New Zealand. Um, but they have that thickness too. And so it's if I had my perfect uh, rabbits, it would be a New Zealand cali cross. Um, I like them a whole lot. Um, and so that would be. That would be my rabbit of choice if I was doing it just for meat and I just wanted some. Uh, and I've done that before. I've had those before. Um, I've tried it both ways. I've tried New Zealand bucks on Cali does and Cali bucks on New Zealand does. And I liked it with the uh, Cali bucks on the New Zealand does better because uh, just in the ones I had, the Cali uh, does didn't throw as many. They had an average of six to seven babies, whereas those New Zealand does have an average of eight to ten. They're they're great mamas. Uh, so, but that was that's what he asked, and I thought I'd never really said it if I if I was just doing it for that reason. Here's the little girls and the little boy. I gotta get rid of. Them. Um, but that's what that's what my favorite would be if I was doing it strictly for meat. Um, and these red New Zealands are really. They're really almost that, you know, because they're the New Zealands, but they don't have the lankiness of a New Zealand. They're more compact, like a like a uh, Cali. But these, to me, just haven't had as much breeding and um, experimentation as the Callies and the New Zealands. They just have them, you know, they're primed breeding machines now. They people have bred them for for the purpose, and I can't stress enough: get good quality. Good quality, good quality, good quality. Starting out, um, you can't you can't replace good quality. Um, remember, you're going to be feeding these things and feeding out the babies. Um, you know, good quality. Uh, look at Houndsman video. Uh, Houndsman, I think it's just Houndsman. His channel or Kanan Raw. 
and you'll see that there's a difference in good quality rabbits. They just they come out bigger at five, uh, bigger at ten to twelve weeks, and just just a pretty rabbit. You can tell the difference. But that was just what I'd say is my favorite, and I'll let y'all go. Talk to y'all later. Bye bye.